Celebrities just like everyone else exit this world in many different ways. However, some deaths are always shocking to hear about, especially the ones involving murder. Which is why even today people are fascinated by Senzo Miyua's death. So today we'll be looking at South African celebrities who have been murdered. Actor Sibukwinana was 25 when he was stabbed to death in March 2019 during a robbery at Stairland Mall in Arcadia, Pretoria. While he was attending a screening of Matwetwe, the locally produced movie he had starred in. According to witnesses, Julius Lucas snatched Spoo's cell phone and when Spoo tried to run after him, Lucas proceeded to stab him. Sibu was stabbed in the heart and died before paramedics arrived at the scene. Actor and Josie FM DJ Mandla Tlachwayo and a friend died in a hail of bullets at Medi Lounge in Pimville, Soweto on the 14th of May in 2017, when he rushed the aid of two women who were being robbed outside the venue. His assailants left him in a pool of blood, making off with his wallet, his cell phone and shoes. The actor was with a group of friends at the pub at around 10 p.m. when the incident happened. There were about 10 people in the pub when two women ran inside shouting frantically. They said they were being mugged and Mandla immediately stood up and went outside. That's when gunshots rang out and he died. One of Mandla's friends followed him outside and was also shot in the heart. After shooting him, the gunman seized him and made off with his belongings. All city actress Tabang Konyani was found stabbed to death in a room in New Brighton, Port Elizabeth. In August 2009, she was found dead by a friend called Simpiwe, who went to Tabang's house after her friends reported that they had not seen her for days. Simpiwe says, when I arrived at the house, I called the name several times, but there was no answer. When I pushed the door, it was not locked and it was dark inside. As it was about 9 p.m., I used my torch as I searched around the house. I found Tabang lying in a bed which was soaked in blood. I then called the neighbors and the police. To this day, no one has been arrested for this crime. Bango actress Lindy Chibi passed away due to pneumonia in May 2007, while still in hospital recovering from being shot in the face in 2005. In 2005, Chibi defied all odds when she survived a gunshot at close range that entered her cheek and exited at the back of her head. At the time, doctors gave her just days to leave. She was shot by a boyfriend, Dan Mukwena, at her mother's house. The incident left her in a coma for three weeks. On the night of the shooting, Lindy's mother, Pamela, said the couple had left her house laughing and talking to each other. Moments later, a gunshot rang out and she ran out to find her daughter lying in a pool of blood. Shortly after the shooting, Dan allegedly hijacked a car at gunpoint but crashed the vehicle in Orlando. He was caught, arrested, and sentenced. After regaining consciousness, Lindy claimed Mukwena pointed the gun to his head and pulled the trigger, but it jammed. Singer Lucky Dube was shot dead in front of his children in a botched car jacking in October 2007. He was shot and killed as he dropped off his teenage son and daughter off at their uncle's house in Johannesburg. Three men approached the car and shot the singer at close range. The police say that Dube attempted to drive away from the gunman, but lost control of the car and ran into a tree. He died at the scene. The three men had wanted Lucky Dube's Chrysler and only found out they had killed someone famous the day after the incident. They thought he was Nigerian at the time of the car jacking. The three were given life sentences. Five men were convicted of killing Rhythm City actor Dumima Silela during a hijacking five years ago. They received life imprisonment in August 2021. The five men went on a criminal spree on the day Dumi was killed. The group's night of terror started in Deviton on August 2, 2017. At around 8.20 p.m., they saw Dumi's Golf 7 parked in the street in Tembisa. They got out of another stolen car, a jeep, and approached the Golf 7 in an attempt to rob it at gunpoint. Masilela, who was driving the car, managed to drive off, but Makuba, one of the hijackers, fired at the moving car. The bullet hit Masilela and he later died at the hospital. Masilela drove himself to the hospital while wounded and then passed away after undergoing surgery. Model Riva Stienkamp was 29 when she died on Valentine's Day in 2013. Oscar Pretorius, her boyfriend at the time, shot her dead saying he mistook her for a burglar at his Pretoria home. 
However, witnesses claimed that they heard what sounded like an argument in Oscar's house between 2 to 3 a.m. They heard a lady scream and then gunshots were fired. Then they heard screaming again and then a few more shots, which is very different from Oscar's account. According to him, he slept with a gun under his bed for safety since we live in a crime-ridden violent country. Early that morning, he had heard sounds inside the bathroom so he got up and grabbed for his gun on the way to the bathroom he screamed for the intruder to get out of the house and for river to phone the police it was pitch black and he thought river was in bed he fired shots at the toilet door and shouted to river to phone the police when she didn't respond he finally realized river was not in bed he tried the toilet door found it locked then grabbed his cricket bed bashed open the toilet door and found her well, he was found guilty and sentenced to 13 years in jail. Rapper Flabba was killed in 2015 by his girlfriend. The lovers reportedly started fighting at the Sands, a nightclub in Joburg, after Flabba was allegedly caught flirting with his ex-girlfriend. The two fought and Sindisiwe slapped him. A few hours later, Flabba would be fatally stabbed by Sindisiwe at his home in Alexander. After they got home, Sindisiwe locked Flabba outside and Flabba was pleading with her to open the bedroom door. When Sindisiwe finally opened the door, Flabba went inside and the two continued to fight. Flabba's brother who was outside the house at the time says Sindisiwe came out running 30 minutes later, telling him she had stabbed Flabba in the heart by mistake. He was still alive, they tried administering CPR but unfortunately he died before the paramedics arrived. Sindisiwe was sentenced to 12 years in jail. She has since been released. South African goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa died at 27 on the 26th of October in 2014. Meiwa was at his girlfriend Kelly Kumalo's mother's house when two gunmen stormed into the residence in what seemed to be an attempted robbery. The two gunmen demanded that people inside hand out their cell phones and money while another accomplice waited outside. Senzo was shot in the upper torso and died as a result of his injuries. Meiwa was shot after he had attempted to stop the perpetrators. Five men are currently under trial for his murder. Actress Tadegam Leliswa died after being shot at a family home in September 2020. According to police spokesperson, two men came to the home on Thursday, 3 September and had an argument with Tandega's brother. The argument was about a cell phone and money that Tandega's brother was supposed to give the two men. When Tandega went to address the two men, the argument became violent and one of them grabbed his friend's gun and shot Tandega in the neck. She was immediately rushed to Evander Hospital, stabilized then airlifted to Whitbank. Then Steve Biko Academic Hospital in Pretoria as a condition was critical but stable. She eventually passed away on Saturday the 5th of September 2020. Her killer Siabongambata was sentenced to 25 years in jail. Seasoned actress Yanda Sesiman died after spending weeks at the hospital after a brutal attack during a home invasion on the 15th of February 2022. Sisanda was attacked at his house and was admitted to the hospital with head injuries. He had a fracture on his skull and was operated on. A few days later, he suffered a cardiac arrest, then a seizure. On the 26th of February, doctors declared him brain dead and his chances of survival were very low. He eventually died on the 11th of March 2022. 34-year-old artist DJ City Lights was gunned down in Soweto in the early hours of Monday, February 14, 2022. He was shot eight times during a hijacking in Joburg. Four men ambushed city lights, three were armed and two opened fire. A friend tried to calm the situation, but the gunman aimed and fired at city lights in the stomach. When he fell, everyone else ran away. Hizo Hizo actor Brett Golden and his friend Richard Bloom died in May 2006. The two men were overpowered by four men in front of a mansion in Camps Bay and forced into a car before being taken to the cable car station road on Table Mountain where they were made to undress and bundled into the boot. The men had two guns and proceeded to rob Brett and Richard including cell phones, keys and Bloom's car. Golden and Bloom's naked bodies were later found alongside Cape Town's M5 freeway. Each of them shot once in the back of the head. The men were sentenced to 28 years in jail. May their souls rest in peace.